Welcome to England. The United Kingdom, known for majestic history, varied scenery, and cozy country cottages, is far more than appears on the surface. There is something for everyone, from strolling in sleepy villages to an evening at a West End theatre. Your stay in England will be filled with adventure, history, exploration, and opportunities which many people will never have. Four areas comprise the United Kingdom, England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland each different, each special. The weather is moderate, with average daytime temperatures in the summer around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and in winter dropping into the 30s. RAF Mildenhall, located approximately 70 miles north of London and 26 miles northeast of Cambridge, has been at the center of military aviation since opening, October 16, 1934. Within the first week of service, the installation hosted the famous McRoberts Mildenhall to Melbourne Australia Air Race and welcomed Their Majesties King George V, Queen Mary and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. In October 1938, the new Wellington Bombers came into service at RAF Mildenhall. Nearly a year later, September 4, 1939, bombers from the base performed the second bombing raid of World War II, an attack on German ships. In 1945, 25% of the aircraft on the first thousand bomber raid on Cologne came from RAF Mildenhall. Lancaster bombers from the base participated in over 8,000 day and night sorties over Europe, contributing significantly toward the victory in Europe. Playing an important role in the Berlin airlift, the U.S. Air Force took operational control of the air traffic control tower. RAF Mildenhall was selected as the new home of the Military Air Transport Service's UK passenger terminal in January 1948, establishing RAF Mildenhall as the gateway to the United Kingdom. During 1966, the 513th relocated there from Ecroy, France, and in June 1972, RAF Mildenhall became home for Headquarters 3rd Air Force. The first SR-71 landed in April 1976, Ten years later, aircraft took off from Mildenhall's runways in support of El Dorado Canyon, the strike against Libya, on April 15, 1986. The 100th Air Refueling Wing was activated February 1, 1992, assuming the duties of the 513th Airborne Command and Control Wing, USAFE, and the 306 Strategic Wing, SAC. Mildenhall is now the European Tanker Task Force headquarters and has played an important role in conflicts and humanitarian efforts alike. Today, RAF Mildenhall occupies 1,126 acres and has a 9,240-foot runway and over 500 buildings, supporting nearly 5,000 military and civilian personnel, over 3,000 family members, and 860 Ministry of Defense employees. With over 40 tenant units and supporting several geographically separated units, the base hosts the most diversified missions in the Air Force today. You'll arrive in England at either RAF Mildenhall Air Mobility Command Terminal or London's Gatwick International Airport or Heathrow International Airport. If your sponsor is not able to meet you at the commercial airports, there are base shuttle buses and commercial buses to RAF Mildenhall. Airport information can direct you to pickup points. You can obtain transport at the designated bus depots. Confirm transport times before your arrival as they are subject to change. Your first stop upon arrival will be the billeting office. There are 40 temporary lodging facility units at RAF Mildenhall. Family units are equipped for a family of four, including a modern kitchenette with microwaves, kitchen and tableware, and cable color television. There is a shared laundry facility within the building. You are eligible for 30 days of TLF with the possibility of extensions on a case-by-case -case basis. Most personnel find housing within 60 days. We recommend that you or your sponsor make lodging arrangements as far in advance as possible as availability is limited. We also suggest that you call the billeting office three weeks before your arrival to confirm your reservation and obtain a reservation number. Next, you will report to your orderly room and the military personnel flight. 
Washington Square is the center of activity in the Mildenhall community. The military personnel flight, accounting and finance, pass and ID, the legal office, dining hall, civilian personnel, Keesler Federal Credit Union, Merchants Community Bank, and several other offices are located around Washington Square on the non-secure side of the base. Stop by customer services and then the base intro section. You will turn in your records there, receive an appointment for initial in-processing, and dates to attend the overseas orientation and driver's briefings. The staff of the Welcome Center is dedicated to making your relocation an easy one. They can provide you with answers, information in housing rentals available on the economy, and low-cost house hunting transportation. As the wait for base housing is from a year and a half to two years long, most personnel and their families live on the British economy for most, if not all, of their tour. Keep in mind that British houses are much smaller than American houses. Try not to bring large furniture, especially large bedroom furniture, as such items may not fit through doorways, windows, or stairways, or be proportioned for smaller rooms. Most British homes don't have certain conveniences to which you may have become accustomed. Your rental home may not have built-in closets, you'll have to buy or borrow wardrobes, showers, as baths are more common, central heating, additional storage space, or dishwashers. You probably should not bring American appliances. Because of voltage differences, you would need to use transformers, which is sometimes difficult and shortens the life of the appliance. However, American-style appliances are available to residents of base housing and those off-base residents who would prefer them. Washers, dryers, ranges, and refrigerators are available from the housing supply office, or you may want to negotiate with your landlord to use British appliances provided. Furniture items such as wardrobes, dinette sets, and beds are available on a temporary basis. For smaller appliances, it is wise to buy dual voltage items. The base thrift shop is an excellent source for such items at reasonable prices. Life in Britain is rewarding, but expensive. Be aware of the high cost and limited number of rental properties near the base. You will be granted a cost of living allowance, or COLA, to help with the additional expenses. To defray the high cost of housing, the government has also authorized OHA, or Overseas Housing Allowance, for those given permission to live in the British community. However, it is highly recommended you relocate to Britain with a minimum of $4,000 for setup costs. Average rent for a two-bedroom house is about $580, but you would be expected to pay the first month's rent plus a security deposit equal to a month's rent. Predictable expenses include $220 per month for utilities, $500 to $1,000 for car insurance, $140 for road tax, $150 for television tax, and the purchase price of an automobile, should that be necessary. Consider also that your American television will not work except for videos and video games. You may want to consider buying a multi-system television. British currency is the pound, or sterling. The pound is divided into 100 pence, or P. Pence are circulated in 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50p, and 1 pound coins. Paper money is in 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100 pound notes. The dollar's worth against the pound varies according to the current exchange rate. Money can be exchanged from dollars to pounds or vice versa at the bank, credit union, or clubs on base. To be eligible for on-base housing, you must apply through the housing annex. An advanced housing application can be done 30 days before your arrival through your present housing office. After you have registered for on-base housing, stop by the housing annex to see where you are on the housing list. The staff is available to answer any questions you may have. Though there are many housing units on RAF Mildenhall and at nearby RAF Lakenheath and RAF Feltwell, there are also units in outlaying areas that may speed your access to military quarters. There is a variety of sizes, styles, and floor plans among the different housing units and areas. Sizes range from 945 square feet in junior enlisted two-bedroom units to 06 and above units of 5,656 square feet. 2,178 housing units are available at this time for personnel assigned to the Mildenhall, Lakenheath, Feltwell area. Numerous dormitories are available for single personnel, the newest offering contemporary furnished suites, a day room on each floor, and laundry facilities. Older dormitories have been or are being renovated. 
All dormitories are within walking distance of the commissary, shop at, class six, food mall, enlisted and officer clubs, a newly refurbished dining facility, the post office, and base library. RAF Mildenhall also offers a branch of Merchants Community Bank, Keesler Federal Credit Union, a concession mall offering British and European goods, a beauty parlor, a barber shop, a bookstore, a sports and video store, fitness center, sports fields, and playgrounds. The exchange, military clothing, indoor swimming pool, golf course, roller rink, and large commissary are located at RAF Lakenheath, 10 minutes away by car. The furniture store is situated at RAF Feltwell. Once you have found quarters on or off base, you should arrange with the traffic management office for delivery of your belongings. They will arrange a mutually convenient time for delivery and discuss any concerns or questions. On delivery day, it's a good idea to have someone in each room to direct where you would like your belongings placed. The movers are to help unpack your possessions. There are several options on base for spouses looking for employment. Main sources on RAF Mildenhall are the Human Resources Office, Civilian Personnel, and APHIS. Any of those offices will provide an application, information as to what is available, and answers to questions. For employment on the economy, you will not need a work permit as you are covered under the U.S.-U.K. Status of Forces Agreement, but you may have to apply for a national insurance number, somewhat like our Social Security number. Spouses seeking employment should first stop by the Family Support Center where a career focus counselor can help you. The Mildenhall Family Support Center offers a wide variety of services besides career focus for spouses. Programs offered include personal financial management, Air Force aid, volunteer resources, transition assistance, family life skills education, family readiness, information and referral, and relocation assistance. The relocation assistance program responds to the needs of military personnel and families moving into and out of RAF Mildenhall. In preparation for your move, don't forget the relocation assistance program at your current base. Go by and get your personalized RAF Mildenhall Sites Guide, providing up-to-date information and contacts. Family Services is also part of the Family Support Center. You can borrow domestic items like sheets, blankets, dishes, and baby items. Family Services provides new parents with a handmade layette set. All you do is bring in the baby or proof of birth. They also offer a welcome package of information on the base and the local community. Planning a vacation near a military facility, going TDY, or relocating once again, Family Services has brochures and videos on bases worldwide. The Child Development Center is more than just babysitting for children aged six weeks to six years. Child care is available on an hourly or contract basis and for extended hours to accommodate working parents. The staff's philosophy is that a child learns through experience with loving support in an atmosphere of play. They encourage independence in children but teach them to respect others. The staff constantly works to promote each child's self-image through successful experiences. Interaction with a child's family is valued, and lines of communication are always open between the center and the home. Home daycare is a popular alternative to the Child Development Center. Those who care for children in their homes are carefully trained and are regularly inspected to ensure children receive the very best care. Home day caregivers maintain written curricula for daily and weekly activities, giving your child an enriching experience every day. Home daycare providers are available for free child care for volunteers at REF Mildenhall. Contact the volunteer resource manager at the Family Support Center for more information. The American Youth Association offers social, recreational, and educational activities for children from 6 to 18 years of age. Programs offered include a youth sponsorship program, before and after school care, daytime summer camp, a sports program, and instructional programs such as gymnastics, karate, and music, just to name a few. Dodds, or Department of Defense Dependent Schools in the United Kingdom, are inspected and accredited by the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools. Dodds operates two elementary schools at RAF Lakenheath and RAF Feltwell, and a middle school and a high school at RAF Lakenheath. Lakenheath's elementary school has a standing enrollment of about 1,600 students and a staff, including instructors in art, music, physical education, and two host nation teachers to introduce British culture and customs in addition to core subject matter. 
Lake and Heath also operates a Sure Start program for selected four-year-olds and a special education program for school-age disabled children. Feltwell Elementary meets the same standards but for a smaller student body and teaching staff. Students in 6th through 8th grade attend Lake and Heath Middle School at RAF Feltwell. The school is housed in several buildings campus style with a student body of nearly 800. Lake and Heath High School, located in the guarded area of RAF Lake and Heath, accommodates nearly 700 pupils. The facility strives to mirror stateside school programs of like size, but exceeds stateside standards as far as cultural experiences. The school offers a full music and sports program. Students may participate in school-sponsored trips to Europe for athletic and music activities and competitions. Each year, the school funds students to go to The Hague to participate in the model United Nations and to visit Luxembourg for the model Harvard Congress. For all new students, regardless of grade, parents must provide report cards, a copy of travel orders with each child's name, and a current shot record. Shot records must be taken to the immunization clinic at RAF Lake and Heath for verification before enrolling the child. Many American parents view an education in the British school system as an excellent cultural experience for their children and an alternative to the Dodd schools. Places can be found in local schools, although not always the one closest to home, due to the influx of young British families to the area. If you are living in military housing, it is not always possible to register your children for British schools. There are two primary schools for children aged 5 to 9 in Brandon, two in Mildenhall, six in Newmarket, and one each in Beckrow, Elfden, Gaisley, Lakenheath, Moulton, Tuddenham, and West Row. The Base Education Center, located in Building 231, provides assistance and guidance on an array of programs ranging from post-secondary to graduate study programs. Educational programs with Central Texas College, City Colleges of Chicago, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, University of Oklahoma, the University of Maryland, and numerous correspondence courses are available. The 48th Medical Group's mission directly supports the combat capability of the 48th Fighter Wing and the 100th Air Refueling Wing, providing or arranging care for over 45,000 U.S. military and other beneficiaries within the United Kingdom. Services range from audiology to urology, whatever is needed. The 48th Medical Group is involved in a large-scale military construction project, including refurbishment of the existing hospital and construction of a new addition. Completion is expected in the summer of 1996, but until then, some services will be maintained in modular buildings. The Dental Services Main Clinic, located behind the RAF Lake and Heath Officers Club, features 26 dental treatment rooms. Specialties range from endodontics to oral surgery. Emergencies are accepted at any time. Active treatment in progress may be continued on a space available basis for family members who arrive already fitted with active orthodontic appliances prior to their assignment notification date. Treatment in dental specialty areas is also on a space available basis. Since the Delta Dental Plan is not available overseas, we urge that family members coming from the United States make full use of the plan before relocating to RAF Lakenheath. The base chapel offers regular Catholic, Protestant, and Jewish religious services, as well as ongoing programs focused on families, single personnel, and children. The chapel also offers adult choir, fellowship groups, Sunday school, Bible study, and baptism and marriage ceremonies. Confidential counseling sessions and 24-hour emergency assistance are also available. Our mission of taking care of you and your family also extends to your family pet. Basic care and services are provided by a military veterinary surgeon at RAF Feltwell. However, the United Kingdom imposes a strict 120-day quarantine on all pets entering the country. There are no waivers available. The average cost of bringing a pet into England is $1,000 to $2,000 for the six-month quarantine. The owner is also responsible for all paperwork, arranging a formal agreement with an authorized carrying agent to meet your pet at the airport and transport it to the quarantine kennel. It is easiest to contract with a licensed kennel to pick up, transport, and quarantine your pet. Visiting rights vary depending on the kennel. To obtain an import license for your pet, write to the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food, Animal Health Division C, Hook Rise South, Tolworth, Surbiton, Surrey, KT67NF. You must apply at least eight weeks in advance of desired date of importation.
Note that when reviewing the list of available quarantine kennels, RAF Mildenhall is located in the county of Suffolk. Also note that the British government has banned the importation of certain breeds of dog, mainly those bred for fighting. Without a doubt, RAF Mildenhall and the United Kingdom have something to offer everyone, with a multitude of things to do and organizations to join. At the Bay Sports and Fitness Center, you can do step or regular aerobics several times a day, work out on the Nautilus equipment or free weights, shoot baskets on a full-size basketball court, play racquetball or handball, use the treadmills, step machines or cycles, or just relax in the wet saunas in each locker room. The center also hosts exercise and weight training classes for fitness enthusiasts in the local area. The bowling center offers 12 lanes designed for open and league bowling, automatic Brunswick scoring, video games, and a small assortment of bowling aids. The extensive snack bar offers a grill menu and snacks. If movies are your thing, the recently renovated theater shows first-run movies and seats nearly 300 people. The sports bar, open to all ranks, is a sports person's dream, with many television screens, an enormous selection of video games, pool, foosball, basketball hoops, and a bar to quench your thirst in the frenzy of activity. The sports bar is also notorious for its fabulous Tex-Mex cuisine, burgers, and sandwiches. The Auto Skills Development Center provides tools, equipment, and expert assistance for do-it-yourself auto repairs, including maintenance stalls with lifts, four-wheel alignment, engine and gas analyzer, welding equipment, spray booth, two car washers, and a steam cleaner. Staff are also available to do tune-ups and minor repairs. The Bob Hope Recreation Center offers recreation and travel. Off-duty recreation could include ping-pong, pool, video games, and fitness classes. Videos are shown daily on a 100-inch television screen, or you could use the worldwide telephone service available to the military community. If travel is your cup of tea, get acquainted with outdoor recreation and the travel offices. Their staffs can provide concert tickets, local and European tours, train and bus information, and make flight arrangements. Travel anywhere in Britain can be fun, easy, and inexpensive using the bus system, which may provide a reasonable alternative to owning a vehicle. Buses stop several times daily at RAF Mildenhall. The train and the underground offer another safe and efficient way to travel in and around the UK. It is easy to plan a day or a month of exploring your host country, utilizing public transportation. Whether you enjoy sports, a good read by a cozy fire, or constant travel in Europe or the United Kingdom, you can do it all. Britain's beauty, style, and charm fit it to any lifestyle. The possibilities are endless. So from all of us at RAF Mildenhall, welcome to the United Kingdom. Cheers.